see how long I can keep this streak going. Starting off the video in my flying suit. Hey everybody, it is the McMaster 14, and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we visited the Melty Molten Galaxy, the last galaxy in the last dome, the Garden. And in this episode, we are going to be revisiting the Dreadnought Galaxy, which... I'm not sure you guys noticed this, but the Dreadnought Galaxy is actually really similar to Balrock Galaxy. Don't believe me? Well, this mission should be quite similar to a mission we did in Balrock Galaxy. <coughs> Balrock Barrage! Yes. Uh, real quick, before we start off, right down here, you can use these bombs to get a 1-up if you want to, but I'm not going to because I really don't need it. Now, these screws right here, you have to stand on the side to turn them and go forward. And because I'm not a speedrunner, but I'm still going to do this anyway, I'm going to just finally jump forward. And look at this right here. This is a prime example of Nintendo logic. These heavy chain chomps roll over these buttons and they don't activate. When a Italian when a town when an Italian man walks over these buttons, who is clearly a lot lighter than those chain chomps, they activate. Useless buttons are just sensitive only to Italian men. And that somehow when I press all those buttons, these chain chomps disappear for some reason, and they turn to starbits. And also, you can't enter these houses if you really want to. Just know that. So, we just rotate this screw again. Do an epic long jump, because I'm a speedrunner. No. Yeah, if you stand on the other side of the screw, it'll actually start turning back. We defeat these weird octopus things. And do an epic long jump. There we go. Get those I got one of them. <laughs> oh, more. Get him, get him, yes. Also, if you really want to, you can shoot servants at these cannonballs and they turn into coins. I mean, I guess that's I guess that's what that yellow thing on the center of it is. I guess that's like a coin or something. And now, when this thing runs into those mines, you have to do that. Stop by that Goomba. Don't spin jump right there because it'll actually... I think it actually might get you farther behind that this platform. Anyway... Just walk across here. Yeah, if you backflip on top of that swamp, there's a one up there you can get, but... Yeah, I really didn't need it. And also, it's kind of risky to get if you're not really good at doing backflips because you might miss this thing. And also, it plays a trick on you. It's not going to run into that mine. It's just going to um, stop right here and you can grab this other thing which starts moving sideways. <clears throat> and also, I really don't get it. Like, if you fall off this platform, I'm not going to because I'm good at this game. You fall off, you actually fall sideways, which is... Which is another prime example of Nintendo Live. No! Jeez, install Nintendo Logic and you die! And... Oh! Oh, looks like there's a checkpoint right here. So it's kind of a good thing that I died so I could actually show this thing. Alright, so we just have... I'm not really gonna cover any footage because... Uh, we're like right here. But yeah, just a quick tip, when you're playing this game, don't insult Nintendo's logic, cause I did and I paid that price. Anyway, 
okay, let's just get down here where gravity is normal. Like, that's kind of the thing. I always find it more difficult to move on upside down gravity and sideways gravity. No, 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 no. Alright, good. Like I was saying, I always find it tougher to move on upside down gravity and sideways gravity than it was tougher to move on um, um, upside up gravity because when you're on when you're on like the side or walking up a wall, the, the controls are kind of like inverted and wonky and it's kind of tough to tell where you're going. But anyway, we completed the Dreadnought Colossal Cannons. I almost said Battle Rock Barrage. You discover a new galaxy. Oh, in the engine room. No, I don't want to save my game. And also, fun fact about that mission, I actually tried recording that yesterday, but like I said, my recording got corrupted and I... And I didn't really want to re-record it because I was worried it was going to corrupt again. But anyway, let's head into the engine room where we unlock the Bone Pin Galaxy, which is actually not going to be the last galaxy in the game that we're unlocking. Anyway, King Finn's Fearsome Waters. Hi. <laughs> Even in the cutscene, if you shake the way about the launch star spins. Yes. Anyway, we start on that tow trip that for some reason has gravity. And another cutscene triggers. And... We meet... Try Shark! I'm not sure I fooled anyone. If I did, then you really should pay attention to details. Probably should have known that this guy's official name is called King Ben. Anyway, I used to actually be really scared of this guy when I was like, younger. But now I find it was kind of an easy boss. Basically, you defeat, him, you defeat him the exact same way you would defeat the eels from the Drip Drop Galaxy. You just have to... You just have to throw shells at you. And after a single hit, usually takes more than a single hit for bosses to enter a new phase, you'll actually start you'll actually start summoning these fish minions to help in fight. And just like with the eels, your best bet is red shells because they automatically home on your target. And is he dead? No! He just summons more fish minions. I have a lean third phase, if you ask me, but I'm not a game developer. And I think one more hit should do it. No, don't get stuck. Got it. And that was it. Like I said, I used to be kind of scared of this guy when I was younger because of how intimidating he looked. But it now I'm kind of I kind of you know, find him as a really easy boss, and I need to get all the way back to that star. First, that treasure chest right there has a health extension if you want it, but I personally didn't need it. So I'm great at this game. And there's our star. And I just swim right by it, because I suck at swimming. There we go. You got a star. Alright, so... Not sure what I'm gonna do for the next mission because I don't think I got many star bits there. Nine. No, I don't want to save my game. All right, so I think for the third star of this video, I'm gonna take a little bit of a detour. Well, kind of a massive detour. 
to the terrace, which we haven't seen in a really long time. Does anyone remember this place? And let's go to the Honey Hive Galaxy, because we haven't collected the third main star there. Big Bad Bugaboo. I actually remember this lo this mission being really short, so I think it's kind of a good way to end off this this video. Yes. Anyway, hey, the whole Mandy Bug Clan has in has infested our kingdom. That's they're called the Mandy Bug Clan. <laughs> I can think of a cr I think I can think of a more creative name. The Pinch Buggers. Yeah, that, that's a way better name. Stomp you. And I kind of want to get more. Sorry, but because we still have that hungry Luma outside of the engine room that we still need to feed. The neighbors are causing trouble again. So we are most grateful for your assistance. Anyway, we just hop right in this launch star, spin. Yeah. Grab our bee suit. Fly over here. And... Land. And we're basically just fighting a larger version of one of those pinch bugs, as I call them. Right? No! He has the ability to fly! Which makes him a lot tougher than one of those normal pinch buggers. Anyway, what you gotta do now is you have to grab one of those honey cones, and then when he's right below you, ground pass. Also, he now, fly he now flies on the side and poops out bombs, for some reason. Cause, yeah, he can do that. And yeah, he's really not a tough boss, cause I defeated him almost instantly. And anyway, let's collect our... STAR! Anyway... I think that's all we're going to do for this video. Yeah. Next time on Super Mario Galaxy, we are going to be exploring and we're going to be exploring that brand new galaxy we which we are going to unlock via Hungry Luma and let me just check something on the map. Oh no. Well, we're also going to be doing one of the most evil stars in the entire game next time. See you guys then. McMaster, 